How does period pain work? Let's start our journey by looking at the uterus. The uterus is a muscular organ about the size of your fist. Every month, it prepares for a potential pregnancy by building up its inner lining. Next up, we have hormones, the body's chemical messengers. Throughout your cycle, hormone levels change. Just before your period, there's a sharp drop in estrogen and progesterone. This hormone drop triggers the release of substances called prostaglandins. Think of prostaglandins as the uterus's alarm clock. They tell it's time to start contracting. The uterus begins to contract, squeezing like a fist. These contractions help shed the uterine lining, which becomes your period. But they can also cause pain, and that's what we feel as cramps. When the uterus contracts strongly, it can briefly cut off its own blood supply. Less blood flow means less oxygen, which can cause pain, just like when you get a cramp in your leg during exercise. The nerves connected to your uterus also connect to other areas. This is why you might feel pain in your lower back or thighs during your period. Inflammation in the body can make pain more severe. Inflammation increases prostaglandin production. More prostaglandins equals stronger contractions and more pain. Inflammation can also make nerve endings more sensitive. Sometimes other conditions can make period pain worse. When you have endometriosis, womb tissue grows outside of the uterus. This tissue still responds to hormonal changes. It swells and bleeds during your period, causing pain and inflammation. In adenomyosis, the uterine lining grows into the uterine muscle. This makes the uterus enlarged and more sensitive. Period contractions become more painful and can cause heavy bleeding and severe cramping. Fibroids are non-cancerous growths in the uterus. They can distort the uterus shape and increase its size. More surface area equals more prostaglandins produced. The result is stronger period contractions, heavier bleeding and more pain. So there you have it, the complex ecosystem behind period pain. Remember, while some discomfort is normal, severe pain isn't. Finding the root cause of your pain is the first step to living without it. Your body is worth knowing.